Let's learn how to make these chinoiserie pumpkins. It's merely a few craft items that you mostly have at home and a little bit of crafting time. The beautiful thing is too, you can use any kind of paper or napkin to make whatever pattern or style or colors you want in your home. First things first, you're gonna want to gather your supplies. We've got napkins that I found online and ordered got Mod Podge. I have a small craft brush that I use for all kinds of crafts. Scissors. And then, of, cor of course, we have the pumpkins. We'll show those next. There are these faux pumpkins I found online, all different sizes. And then I have these little medicine cups that act as a stand for when I am letting them dry. That way they don't stick to anything and that nothing comes off. So I just stick them on that and then let them dry that way. Um, I'll show anyway. We're gonna work with this pumpkin first. And these foam craft pumpkins, a lot of times the stem will just pop right out. So that's the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to grab a napkin over here and unfold it. You can do this one of two ways. These, are, um, these napkins that I've used are two ply and you could separate the two pieces it's not super easy, but once you get it started, it's not too bad. You can separate the two pieces and use a thinner, there we go, a thinner piece, or you can use both, both ply. Um, I find it easier to work with when you have the thinner piece. So I'll just decide what pattern I wanna position, you know, on the top. I wanna make sure I have plenty left over on the sides to cut and it makes sure it, it folds all the way under. But then I'll stick this back through the middle. If I have trouble, I'll take my scissors and poke a hole in it. Now that we have the napkin placed where we want on the pumpkin, I'm gonna take my scissors and go around and cut a fairly large circle with plenty of room to work with around the pumpkin. Um, you wanna make sure you don't cut too much. You're gonna have to start over and that would be no good. So take my scraps, move them aside. All right, so now that I can tell, I'm gonna have plenty of room to um, cover the pumpkin. We're gonna go and cut, kind of see where the line is, um, like the grooves are on a pumpkin and kind of cut along those lines up to the edge of the top of the pumpkin. You don't wanna cut all the way to the stem. Now that all the, the sides are cut um, fairly evenly, let's, let's do this next step first. I'm going to trim them again. So you're gonna see, you know, you really don't need all of this. And so I'm gonna go ahead and trim some of these bottom pieces off because I know that's just gonna be too much excess and we don't want the more excess you have, the more likely it is to like accidentally get in Mod, Mod Podge before it's time. So I'm just gonna make sure I have, you know, plenty of room to work with still to cover, you know, to the bottom. Okay, that looks pretty good. I've got my Mod Podge open and we are going to Mod Podge the top. So I'm kind of turn it over and get this top area and now we're just going to kind of put our paper down on top of the Mod Podge and let it get nice and stuck. Now I'm going to take a little bit more and paint it on top and again this dries matte because it's the matte Mod Podge so gonna have a really nice sheen to it. And I'm okay that it's a little crinkly, it's fine. So we've got our top all ready to go. Now we're gonna do the edges. So you just start with somewhere, kind of work in sections, work your way around the pumpkin. Set that down and then you're gonna use your brush to push it down onto the pumpkin really simple really easy it's okay if there's creases to me it doesn't bother me then I'm just gonna do my next piece 
add some, add some Mod Podge or glue, you know, it's like glue, and then kind of set this piece on top. Now, you're gonna wanna get it all the way to the bottom. As you work your way around, you're gonna have a lot of pieces that are gonna start to overlap. And I will cut a little bit, not a ton, but cut some excess off so that it's not so much paper. This piece over here is gonna have an overlap quite a bit. So I just cut that off and then stick this piece down. A little bit of Mod Podge. And you're just gonna work your way all the way around the pumpkin. These smaller ones are easier to work with than the, the big ones. Some of the big ones are a little bit more difficult and you've gotta use, you know, a whole napkin on top and then kind of use a second napkin on the bottom, but these smaller ones are really cute and really easy to work with. 